father was a, was a commercial artist, a model maker really, so I grew up with uh, a father who was working in the garden shed making things as a way of making a living. So it always seemed completely natural to me that one could uh, have a career by making things. I was an only child and I spent a lot of time on my own uh, looking at um, natural phenomena. I was one of those kids that went around collecting fossils and picking up things and making collections of natural objects. I went to art college in the 1970s. It was pretty clear even before I went to art college that sculpture was what I was interested in. I always liked making things. I think the interest in stone in particular started to develop towards the end of my time at, uh, at college. I kind of like the simplicity of the process, the fact that it's uh, conceptually a very simple idea. You remove the material you don't want and leave the bits you do want. There's something extraordinary about the solidity of a stone. You know, the things we deal with in our lives tend to be hollow things. Houses, wardrobes, furniture, cars. There is something rather extraordinary and uh, slightly um, disturbing almost about drawing one's imagination into the interior of something which is absolutely solid. And of course, you know, the world we live on is that as well.